Alrighty, so in today's video, we'll be going over the August 31st or 8 31 maintenance and update notice. Uh, it came out last uh, yesterday, last night. Um, so the game will be undergoing a uh, stable game service maintenance. Uh, it'll go from August 31st at 6 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time to August uh, 31st, 9 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. So, it will be a three-hour, um, update. Um, let's see. Update details. Half Anniversary Part 1 events. So, we have plenty of events prepared for the Half Anniversary. A Week in Lilia appears in a special The Seven Catastrophes event. Another bingo board. Another Hawk Pass and many other events uh, with a plethora of rewards are all here. New Heroes, SSR Virtual Body doubles Lost Vein Meliodas. The thing I've been saving most, like all my gems for practically, I'm a, I'm a cop him. I'm gonna try to get all his outfits. So yeah, I'm, hopefully I can uh, get more than just one of him. Uh, the SSR, the Ten Commandments, Fraudrin of Selflessness. Now, this Fraudrin sucks, but he's also the best. Okay, so let me let me talk about it. He's the worst unit in the, one of the worst units in the game. But if you max, if you get all his outfits, max out his uh, uh, Super Awakening when Super Awakening comes out, and get him UR gear and like just completely just whale him out. He actually becomes the best, one of the best units. It was uh, proven in JP, so hopefully that stays true. Returning, pop uh, returning popular and Lilia costume sets. So the Malevolent uh, Knighthood costumes for Meliodas and King are coming out. Holy Knight armor for Gil Thunder and Hauser are coming out. Um, Lilia's UR costume sets now available for set purchase, so you could buy them. Um, new costumes, the Sensual Life's costume set for Lost Fame Meliodas, the Gentleman's Dignity costume set for Fraudrin, uh, six new half anniversary celebration bundles we got the daily sales bundle the half anniversary thank you bundle the half anniversary festival bundles one and two the special upgrade bundles one and two so if any of you guys want to go pick those up you can uh bundle contest uh renewal a uh, subscription bundle such as the monthly bundle which uh gives a hundred percent death match occurrence rate added Buff will apply for the remaining time period for those purchased before the maintenance. Uh, weekly bundle diamonds. Ten auto clear tickets will be given daily for the bundle for the bundles purchased before the maintenance. Ten auto clear tickets will be uh, given uh, per reward claim starting after the maintenance. Then we got the weekly bundle stamina. One event dungeon key uh, will be given daily. For bundles purchased before the maintenance, one event dungeon key will be uh, given per reward claim starting after the maintenance. New bundles, special, full upgrade bundle strength, full upgrade bundle H uh, HP, full upgrade bundle speed. I know that you need HP for Fraudron, strength for Osphane, speed is just the uh, for anyone else. Uh, we still don't know who's coming in the pack. We will soon. Uh, new starter bundle 1. New starter bundle 2. Uh, tier 5. Uh, Awaken SSR. Equipment selection ticket bundle. Um, items or improved bundles. Uh, returning bundle step 3. Gold bundle. Festival rookie bundle. Festival champion bundle. Equipment upgrade bundle 1. Equipment Upgrade Bundle 2, Limit Break Bundle 3, Strength uh, Evolution Bundle, HP Evolution Bundle, and Speed Evolution Bundle. 
bundle is no longer for sale. Special equipment bundle, SSR equipment selector bundle, strength UR evolution bundle, HP UR evolution bundle, speed UR evolution bundle, limit break material bundle, starter bundle, starter bundle 2. Uh, draw pool edition, the SSR, the 10 command derriere purity, so red derriere will be added to the part 2 normal draw, the part 2 guaranteed SSR draw, and the race draw 2. I will be doing a opening on that. Trying to pull more of her. I did pull her already, but more is better. Uh, people who are ga getting engravings, Meliodas, because of Lost Vein, Gother, just because, and then Fraudron, because he's coming out. So, I'm going to be getting... I have enough for four UR pieces for Lost Vein. I'm trying to build the best Lost Vein. Just like I'm trying to build the best uh, Escanor. Um, let's see. Ending events and bundles. Uh, with you gone. Pick up. I think that's a Derriere pick up. Half anniversary Eve celebration full circus events. Those will be ending. The events of... Enhancement Evolution and Gold Dungeons will be ending. The Diamond Bogo event um, will be ending. Derriere, or no, will be reset, so for all you whales, go get the Diamond Bogo. The Derriere Full Upgrade Bundle 1, Derriere Full Upgrade Bundle 2 will both be ending. The Derriere Special Equipment Bundle 1 and Equipment Bundle 2 will also be ending. Um, so some things that they fixed is, um, the issue with Monsby's hands not showing up when you have a weapon costume equipped. Uh, they fixed the issue with Mikasa not being shown in the equipment engraving list. And they fixed the issue in which reverse stage content is incorrectly displayed. Alright, now let's go and talk about the anniversary box so for this week the code will be lost vein melee and obviously we will be getting these characters eventually but what you basically get in that is you get enhancement potion um a lost vein melee ticket for tomorrow um and some other just some other things. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's X that out. All right, let's talk about the people that are coming out. So we got Green Fraudron. So let's start with his um uh unique. Uh, so his unique is called Contempt. Enemy heroes who have lower CC than Fraudron will not gain ultimate gauge for two turns. This is why he's so good. Because if you max him out, he'll have the most CC. If you max him out trying to get him the most CC, this will help him a lot. Which is why HP and defense is so good. Like, look, gear set, HP, defense. You could draw him. Um, his first move is White Eye, inflicts damage equal to 180% of attack on one enemy, escort 20% damage, 20% uh, attack and defense for one turn, so it decreases the target's stats and increases his own, so he basically steals, it's like, um, bonds. For the Silver, he inflicts damage equal to 200%, escorts for 30% for two turns, and for the Gold, he does it for 250%, Escorts for 50% for, again, two turns. Then he has Slaughter, which inflicts damage equal to 140% of attack on all enemies. For the second one, it does the exact same thing, except it also removes buffs from all enemies. Um, and for the final one, it does the it does, it cancels buffs and stands on all enemies and inflicts damage equal to 210% of attack. His ultimate... Uh, inflicts damage equal to 630% of attack on one enemy, and depletes three ultimate move gauge orbs. As you can see in stats, he has 500 attack, 370 defense, 6,500 uh, HP, 10% uh, pierce rate, 
50% resistance, 10% regen, 5% crit chance, 5% crit damage, 20% crit resistance, 20% crit defense, 100% recovery rate, 0 defense. A percent life steal and he's got low cc which is why you really have to work on him if you really want uh, to use him um he is associated with grimoire 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 all three of them and then both the esteroses some outfits that uh he has is if you draw him you get this outfit uh then if you evolve him you'll get this outfit you can get these which will probably be in the um shop itself um and then the other fraudulent you can't get these because you need the other fraudulent all three of these you need the other fraudulent but these three you can cop um i'll probably be getting maybe this one and this one i won't be getting that one um, if i get any for weapons uh, he's got the normal sword that he gets. You can get this one. This one. These you could all get in the shop. If I already had any, it'd probably be these two. I'm not sure if I'd want these two. Uh, uh, but yeah. And the most important, his head pieces, which bring up his CC the most. Uh, you get this from drawing him. This is his affinity. And then this one you buy, these three you buy. So I would probably maybe get these and then these two from normal. But that's Fraudrin. Uh, let's go back to characters. And let's talk about the main attraction of the pack. Maybe, probably one of the best, if not the best unit in the game. Starting with his unique, which is called Rebate. It increases his skill ranks of the hero, so his skills get upgraded if the hero receives critical damage. So if, if someone crits him, he his uh, moves get uh, strong, uh, better. So he'll go from like tier 1 to tier 2, or tier 2 to tier 3. Um, let's uh, start with his moves called Division Impact. Inflicts damage equal to 240% of attack on one enemy. Inflicts damage equal to 300% of attack on one enemy. And fills ultimate move gauge by 1. And then 500% of attack and fills ultimate move gauge by 2. Then he's got triple avatar. Which inflicts, which is an AoE. Which inflicts charge. Uh, which ignores the fence. Equal to 130% of attack. 195%. And then 325. Then you got his ultimate. Which is pretty OP. Uh, it kind of one shots uh, normally. It's an AoE. Inflicts se secret technique. Which adds an additional um 20 percent additional damage per hero skill equal to 300 percent of attack on all enemies damage inflicted will be effective against all attributes that's why he's so good so you can go against a blue and still do this, so much damage so his outfits okay wait let's talk about association so he's got uh green bond red bond blue bonds so all the ssr or most of the SSR bonds. Uh, green Elizabeth, Blue Elizabeth, and Red Ellie and Hawk. Or these are all Ellie and Hawks. For his outfits, you'll get the one that you do get from drawing him. The one you get from evolving him. And then you can buy three UR, other, three other UR ones. Uh, which I think I, w I will be copying these uh, at, at some point. Uh, then for his weapons, you get the one you draw for him, his affinity one, and then you get you could get three others, which are all you are, and I think I'd also cop these three. And then finally, we got the one for drawing him, and then the three you could buy. Um, the gear he uses is attack defense, but you can use a lot of things. Some people go HP defense for the most uh, CC. Or they'll go, uh, the one I'm going is actually attack crit damage. Because if he, you could see here, so first he does 560 attack, 350 defense, 7000 HP, 40% pierce rate, 70% resistance, 0% uh, regenerate, 70% crit chance, 170% crit damage, 0% uh, 
crit resistance, 60%, crit defense, and 110%, uh, regenerate plus 10%, life steal, having 44,460cc. As you can see, he has a high crit chance already, so, and the more, when you max him out, his crit chance will be close to 100, plus if you go look at his, his outfits, if we go on, uh, crit chance, crit chance, Uh, crit chance 2%, uh, crit chance 1%, so he's getting 3% from just crit chance, from his uh, gear, um, plus the crit chance he had, so it's already 73 plus upgrading him, but then his crit damage is so high, and me giving him crit damage gear, he's gonna have close to, or, let's see, because um, I'm gonna be getting 4% crit damage, then 6%, 9%, um, fifteen percent, seventeen extra percent, uh, crit damage. So we already at one hundred eighty-seven, plus, uh, me upgrading him and giving him crit damage here. He's gonna be doing like two twenty-five, and he'll be critting like almost all the time. So I'll just be one-shotting people. He won't be as defensive, but he will be one-shotting people. Um. And I will be using him a lot. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.